Hello students. So, today we shall continue with the chapter arithmetic progression. In this session, we shall be using some of n terms formula and we will be solving problems relevant to daily life situations. So, the sum of first n terms of an AP is given by s is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or s is equal to n upon 2 into a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. This form of the result is useful when the first term and the last term of the AP are given and the common difference is not given. Okay? So, let us continue with the exercise 5.3. Here question number 5 says the first term of an AP is 5 and the last term is 45 and the sum is 400. Find the number of terms. I need to find n and the common difference. Okay, so, let us note down what all is given a is equal to 5, s n is 400 and a n is 45. So, sum of n terms of the AP is given by the formula s n is equal to n upon 2 a plus a n that is l last term. So, we can just substitute the values 400 is equal to n upon 2 into 5 plus 45. What is 5 plus 45? It is 50. 50 when you will divide with 2 it becomes 25. So, I get an expression 400 is equal to 25 n that is n is equal to 16. So, here the value of n is 16. Now, using the formula for nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. In this formula if I substitute the value of a n as 45, a as 5, n as 16, I can find out the value of d. We have 45 minus 5 as 40 is equal to 16 minus 1 is 15 into d here. So, d is equal to 40 upon 15. On simplification, we get 8 upon 3. Hence, the number of terms are 16 and the common difference is 8 upon 3. I hope you have understood. Come on, let us go to the next question now. Question number 6, which says the first and the last term of the AP are 17 and 350 respectively. Okay, this is first term and this is last term. If the common difference is 9, then how many terms are there and what is their sum? I need to find number of terms and also their sum. So, A is 17 and A n is 350 and D is 9. I have to use this. So, I will pick up my nth formula that is A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. This is the formula to find the nth term. So, 350 is equal to 17 plus n minus 1 into 9. That is 350 is equal to 8 plus 9 n. On simplification, I get n is equal to 342 upon 9 that is equal to 38. So, n is 38. The sum of n terms of an AP is given by the formula S n is equal to n upon 2 into a plus a n. A n is last term. So, S 38 is equal to 38 upon 2 into 17 plus 350. On simplification, you get 19 into 367 that is equal to 6973. So, S 38 is 6973. There are 38 terms and their sum is 6973. I hope you have understood this. So, let us go to the next question. Find the sum of first 22 terms of an AP in which D is 7 and 22nd term is 149. So, common difference is given to us as 7 and nth term is 149 and n is given as 22. So, a n is a plus n minus 1 into d. We use this to find out a. 149 is equal to a plus 22 minus 1 into 7. So, on simplification, I get 149 is equal to a plus 147 
or a is equal to 2. After getting a is equal to 2, now we need to calculate sum of n terms of an AP. We know the formula S n is equal to n upon 2 into a plus a n. So, S 22 is equal to 22 upon 2 into a plus 149. On simplification, we find that 22 upon 2 gives us 11, 11 multiplied by 151 that gives us 1661. So, the sum of first 22 terms of an AP is 1661. It is simple, is not it? Okay, let us do the next one now. Find the sum of first 51 terms of an AP whose second and third terms are 14 and 18 respectively. Very interesting question. A3 is 18 and A2 is 14 and we are also given n is equal to 51. So, using the formula for nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, we get a2 is equal to a plus 2 minus 1 into 7 that is equal to 14 is equal to a plus d or a is equal to 14 minus d. Let us take this equation as equation number 1 and what is a3? a3 is given to us as 18. That means, I can express it as a plus 3 minus 1 into d that is equal to 18 is equal to a plus 2 d. Now, on substituting the value of a from first equation in this, what do I get? 18 is equal to 14 minus d plus 2 d. What is 2 d minus d? It is d. So, 18 is equal to 14 plus d that means, d is equal to 4. Common difference is 4. All right. So, we have to find the sum of 51 terms. After finding d is equal to 4, let us do here putting the value of d in equation 1, we get a is equal to 14 minus 4 that is equal to 10. Now, sum of n terms of an AP is given by the formula. We know the formula S n is equal to n upon 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. So, S 51 will be 51 upon 2 into 2 into 10 plus 51 minus 1 into 4 that is equal to 51 upon 2 into 220. That is when I multiply uh, 51 into 110, I get 5610. So, the sum of first 51 terms of an AP is 5610. I hope it is clear. Come on, let us do the next one. If the sum of first 7 terms of an AP is 49 and that of 17 terms is 289, find the sum of first n terms. Very interesting question. Here S7 is 49 and S17 is 289. With the help of the given information, we will get two equations. See, sum of n terms of an AP, we know the formula is Sn is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, S7 can be expressed as 7 upon 2 into 2a plus 7 minus 1 into d. On simplification, we get 49 is equal to 7 upon 2 into 2a plus 6d. That gives us 49 is equal to 7 into a plus 3d or 7 is equal to a plus 3d or a is equal to 7 minus 3d. So, this let us take it as equation number 1 and S17 can be expressed as 17 upon 2 into 2a plus 17 minus 1 into d. That is equal to 289 is equal to 17 upon 2 into 2a plus 16 d. So, 289 is equal to 17 into a plus 8 d, which can be further simplified as 17 is equal to a plus 8 d. Now, let us solve these two equations. Putting the value of a from equation 1, we get 17 is equal to 7 minus 3 d plus 8 d. That is 5 d is equal to 10 or the value of d is 2. Putting the value of d in equation 1, 
we get a is equal to 7 minus 3 into 2 is 6, 7 minus 6 is 1. So, we get the value of a, we know the value of d. Now, sum of first n terms of the a p can be calculated. What is S n? S n is equal to n upon 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. So, n upon 2 into 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. On simplification, we get n upon 2 into 2 plus 2 n minus 2. Look here, this 2 n minus 2 gets cancelled. So, n upon 2 into 2 n, that means 2 also gets cancelled, we get n into n as n square. So, sum of n terms is equal to n square. Is it interesting? Yes. Okay. Let us do the next question now. We have show that a 1, a 2, a 3, a n form an a p, where a n is defined as a n is equal to 3 plus 4 n. There is one more part in this, a n is equal to 9 minus 5 n. In both the questions, we need to find sum of the first 15 terms in each case. Okay. So, let us take the first part. A n is equal to 3 plus 4 n. Now, on taking the value of n as 1, 2, 3, let us form an A p first. It will be 3 plus 4 into 1 is 4. So, I get A 1 as 7. Likewise, what is A 2? 3 plus 4 into 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. A 3, 3 plus 4 into 3, 12 plus 3 is 15. So, I get 7, 11, 15 as the terms of A p. This is an A p. I need to find sum of the first 15 terms. That means, S 15 is equal to 15 upon 2 into 2 A. What is the first term? 7 plus n minus 1. So, 15 minus 1 into D. What is D? 11 minus 7 is 4. So, 15 upon 2, 7 twos are 14 plus 14 into 4. So, we get 15 upon 2 into 14 plus 14 fours are 56. So, on simplification, we get 15 upon 2 into 70. Okay, 56 plus 14 is 70 and we can cancel this. So, it is 35 into 15. Let us multiply 35 into 15. Yes, we get 525 as the sum of first 15 terms of this A p. Is it clear? Now, let us see the second part. Likewise, I can calculate the terms of A p by substituting the value of n as 1, 2, 3. So, what is 9 minus 5? It is 4 and 9 minus 5 into 2, 9 minus 10 is minus 1, 9 minus 5 into 3, 9 minus 15 is minus 6. So, what are the terms of the AP? They are 4, minus 1, minus 6 and so on. I need to find S 15. So, 15 upon 2 into 2A. What is the first term? Yes, it is 4 plus 15 minus 1. So, 14 into D. What is D? Minus 1 minus 4. It is minus 5. So, I will multiply by minus 5. 15 upon 2 into 2 fours are 8 minus 70. 
15, 14 fives are 70. So, 8 minus 70 I get 15 upon 2 into minus 62 that gives me minus 31. What is 31 into 15? Three fives are 15, 1 and 3. So, I get 5, 6, 4. Yes, 465 with a minus sign. So, minus 465 is the sum of 15 terms of the given AP. I hope it is clear. So, let us do the next one. Find the sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. Okay, now, divisible by 6 means what will be the AP? Yes, you are right. 6, 12, 18, right, 24 and so on. What can be the last term? Can you guess? Yes, 40 into 6. So, it is 240. I need to find sum of the first 40 positive integers. So, S 40 is equal to 40 upon 2 into 2 A plus n minus 1, 40 minus 1 into D. What is D? 12 minus 6 is 6. Good. So, we have 20 multiplied by 12 plus 39 into 6. Let us solve this. 12 plus 39 into 6. Yes, 234. We get 20 into 240. 6. So, if I multiply 246 by 20, I get 2 6 are 12. Yes, 4920 is the sum of 40 uh, first positive, first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. I hope it is clear. Let us do the next one now. Find the sum of first 15 multiples of 8. So, what will be the AP? 8, 16, 24 and 15 multiples. Is it 15 8 is 120. So, what is A here? It is 8. What is common difference? Obviously, 16 minus 8 is 8. Now, we need to find S 15. Let us use the formula 15 upon 2 into 2a that is 8 plus n minus 1 into d. d is how much? 8. So, 15 upon 2 into 16 plus 14 into 8. 15 upon 2 into 16 plus 112. So, you get 15 upon 2 into 128. That gives us 64. Yes, 64. Let us multiply 64 with 15 that will give us the answer. Yes, we get 960 as the answer for sum of first 15 multiples of 8. I hope it is clear. Let us do the next question now. Find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50. Very interesting question. Sum of odd numbers. So, what is the first odd number? 1 next odd number 3, 5, 7 so on and what will be the last one before 50? 
49, all right. So, A is 1 and D is 3 minus 1, it is 2 and I need to find sum of, now to find out N, uh, if we use our um, common sense, it gives us 25, but let us just calculate using nth term, A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into d, 49 is equal to 1 plus n minus 1 into d is how much? 2. So, 49 minus 1 is 48 is equal to 2 n minus 2. So, 48 plus 2 is 50 is equal to 2 n. So, 50 upon 2 will give us the value of n that is 25. All right. Now, I need to find the sum of these 25 terms. So, S 25 is equal to 25 upon 2, 2 A. What is A? It is 1 plus n minus 1, 25 minus 1 into D. D is 3 minus 1 that is 2. So, 25 by 2 into 2 plus 24 into 2. So, we have here 25 upon 2 into 2 plus 48. What is 48 plus 2? It is 25 upon 2 into 50. This if I cancel, I get 25. What is 25 into 25? Yes, you are right, it is 625. So, sum of all odd numbers between 0 and 50 is 625. Is it clear? Shall we go to the next question now? Okay. Very interesting question. A spiral is made up of successive semicircles with centers alternately at A and B, starting with center A of radii 0.5 centimeters, 1 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters, 2 centimeters, etc. What is the total length of such a spiral made up of 13 consecutive semicircles, where pi is equal to 22 upon 7? See students, you can see a semicircle here, another semicircle here, and this is the third one and fourth, and this way the uh, spiral goes on with 13 semicircles. So, what is the circumference of a circle? Yes, you are right, it is 2 pi r. If I take circumference of a semicircle, it will be how much? 2 pi r upon 2, right? So, I will be taking pi r as the circumference of this semicircle, whose radius is how much? 0 0.5. And for next one, what will be the radius here? 1 centimeter and 1.5 for consecutive semicircles. So, it forms an AP. How will we find the length of the uh, length of the semicircular rounds? See here, we have R1 as 0.5 centimeters, R2 as 1 centimeter, R3 is 1.5 centimeters. So, first term becomes 0.5 centimeters. What is the common difference? 1 minus 0 0.5, it is 0 0.5 centimeters. So, length of spiral will be equal to 13 consecutive semicircles that is equal to pi r 1 plus pi r 2 plus pi r 3 and so on till pi r 13. What we find is pi is common. So, r 1 plus r 2 plus r 3 till r 13 we can add and you know it is forming an AP. So, pi is common 0 0.5, 1, 1 plus 0 0.5 all these terms can be added till 13 terms. So, pi into 13 upon 2 into 2 into 0 0.5 plus 13 minus 1 into 0 0.5, that is 12 into 0 0.5 will give me how much? It will be 6, 6 plus 1 will be 7 here. So, pi is common 13 upon 2 into 7, you have is equal to 22 by 7 into 13 upon 2 into 7. You find that you have 2 gets cancelled with 22, it is 11 and 7 with 7. So, you have 11 into 13 as 143 centimeters. This is the length of the spiral.
it was interesting yes come on let us go to the next question now 200 logs are stacked in the following manner 20 logs in the bottom row 19 on the next row and 18 on the row next to it and so on so in how many rows are 200 logs placed and how many logs are there on the top row so let the number of rows be n and the number of logs in the top row be a so let a n be 20 because it is given to us as there are 20 logs in the bottom row and d is 1 how see 20 19 18 this is the order given to us okay so and total logs we know is 200 so using the formula for nth term a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 20 i can write a plus n is equal to 20 plus 1 or a plus n is equal to 21 now using formula for nth term sn is equal to n upon 2 into a plus an so 200 is equal to n upon 2 into a plus an which can be simplified as 400 is equal to n into a plus 20 which on opening the brackets will give me n a plus 20 n is equal to 400 on substituting the value of a which we have obtained earlier here a plus n was 21 n into 21 minus n plus 20 n is equal to 400. Now, if I open the brackets, what do I get? 21 n minus n square plus 20 n is equal to 400, which gives us n square minus 41 plus 400 is equal to 0. You must be wondering how I got the different signs here. I have multiplied by minus 1 throughout to simplify the equation. This is a quadratic equation in n. Now, I need to find factors of 400 to such factors which on adding should give me 41 minus 41 and on product they should give me 400. So, we have selected 25 and 16. You see if I add I get 41 and if I multiply I should get 400. So, n square minus 25 n minus 16 n plus 400 is equal to 0. What is common in the first two terms? Obviously, n n into n minus 25 minus 16 n minus 25 is equal to 0. As you can see n minus 25 is one of the factors and the left out factor is n minus 16. So, two factors are n minus 16 into n minus 25 is equal to 0. That means either n is equal to 16 or n is equal to 25. Now, out of these two only one has to be selected. Let us see that is interesting. If you take n is equal to 16, a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 20. So, a plus 16 minus 1 into d is 20 means a plus 15 d is equal to 20. That is a plus 15 into 1 is equal to 20. That means a is equal to 20 minus 15 is equal to 5. That means on the topmost row, how many logs will be there? 5. So, it is quite possible to have 5 logs of wood on the topmost row. Let us see if I take n is equal to 25, what happens? a plus 25 minus 1 into d is 20. So, a plus 24 into 1 is equal to 20. That gives me a is equal to 20 minus 24 that is minus 4. Can you have minus 4 logs of wood? No. Therefore, it is rejected here and we have a uh, number of logs in the first row to be 5 and hence the number of rows are 16 and the number of logs in the top row is 5. I hope it is clear. Question is very important. Okay, let us do the next one now. We have in a potato race, the uh, bucket is placed at the starting point which is 5 meters from the first potato and the other potatoes are placed 3 meters apart in a straight line. There are 10 potatoes in the line. A competitor starts from the bucket, picks up the nearest potato, runs back with it drops it in the bucket, runs back to pick up the next potato, runs to the bucket to drop it in and she continues in the same way until all the potatoes in the bucket. What is the total distance the competitor has to run? We have to find out. So, converting it in the form of arithmetic progression, distance between the first potato and the bucket is 5 meters. Now, 
she has to run 3 meters for subsequent potatoes. Distance between two next two potatoes is 3 meters each. So, series is 5 meter. What is 5 plus 3? 8. 8 plus 3? 11. So, we get here first term as 5 meters and d obviously is 8 minus 5 that is 3 meters. Is it clear? So, total distance travelled for 10 potato is 2 into 5 plus 8 plus 11 so on till 10 terms. So, 2 into 10 upon 2 into 2 into 5 plus 10 minus 1 into 3. So, we get 2 into 5 into 10 plus 27. So, it is 2 into 37 into 5 that gives us 37 into 10, 370 meters is the total distance the competitor has to run. I hope the question is clear. All right. Now, it is time to take up the assignment. Take down the first question. Find the sum of the first 1000 positive integers. Second, the first n positive integers. Question number 2. A manufacturer of TV sets produced 600 sets in the third year and 700 sets in the seventh year. Assuming that the production increases uniformly by a fixed number every year, find the production in the first year, second, the production in the tenth year, third part, the total production in the first seven years. Next, if the sum of the m terms of an AP is same as the sum of its n terms, show that the sum of its m plus nth terms is 0. Very interesting question. Please try. You will be able to do it. I am sure. Question number 4. The sum of first n terms of 3 arithmetic progressions are S1, S2 and S3 respectively. The first term of each AP is 1 and their common difference are 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Prove that S1 plus S3 is equal to 2 times S2. Okay, students, let us see the summary. The sum of first n terms of an AP is given by S is equal to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or S is equal to n upon 2 into a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. This form of the result is useful when the first and the last term of the AP are given and the common difference is not given. So, students, today we have learnt how we can use the sum of n terms formula for solving the problems related to daily life situations. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Please practice the questions given in the assignment. Thank you.